Welcome to Wireless Dealer Expo. This is Lorette Varis, and I'm here at the T-Mobile Limited booth, and I've got Alan Lamb with me. Alan, let's talk about the T-Mobile Limited program. Who thought of it? Where did it start, and how's it going? Well, really, uh, it started because of consumer demand. You know, the complexity in our category and uh, the change of our 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 industry really has has focused people more towards exclusive branded points of distribution. They feel they get the right uh, knowledge from the from the employees working there. They feel they get the best uh, understanding of their product before they walk out the door. Uh, on the on the new activation side, there's a, a significant percentage, close to 75 percent of the people want to shop at exclusive branded distribution to feel as though they have a relationship with the carrier. And in the upgrade, uh, which is becoming more and more of, of our business today, it's close to 90 percent of the people who want to shop at uh, branded distribution. And I understand that you have just re have just opened your 200th store. Can you talk about that success and what type of people are running the T-Mobile Limited stores for you? Yeah, um, we just opened our 200th store today. Um, in less than a year, uh, we got our first contract, I believe, at the first of or first of November last year, and uh, so uh, we're really excited about that. And as we look towards the type of partners that have been uh, uh, coming on board with us, it's been people who've been multi-unit retailers not just out of the wireless category because, uh, and there are some that are out of the wireless category, but the wireless, our model really compares extremely well from our return on investment and stuff when you compare other programs out there. So a lot of these are business owners who are looking to diversify into a model, into an industry that's growing. Uh, T-Mobile is uh, very committed to the dealer channel. We have been for years. We're very committed in shifting based on the consumer demand for uh, branded distribution to close that parity gap uh, for branded share within the marketplace. So a lot of upside for, for our partners to jump on board. And so when you do talk about the consumer, when the consumer walks into a T-Mobile limited store, what is the experience and is it just like a, a company-owned store and does the consumer even and know the difference? Yeah, we have, uh, you know, consumers don't know the difference as long as they are treated, you know, professionally. And uh, what they want is a knowledgeable staff. Um, the, the, the branding of T-Mobile Limited, they think it's a T-Mobile corporate-owned store. Um, the differences are, are very, very subtle with, uh, you know, the partner's name on a plaque and things of that nature. Uh, we feel there's a big benefit because some of that entrepreneurial spirit or energy that they can drive through those points of distribution, they do things that just carry your grade. Right, carrier grade uh, retailers is really what we want, re whether they've been in wireless or not. So, and you are still looking for more people to get involved in this opportunity, is that correct? And if they want to, how yeah. how can they get in touch with you? Yeah, we have uh, um, several markets in the country that uh, we're still looking for contract holders. We're looking for people again who want to run multi-unit stores. We're um, staying more away from the onesie twosie type operators. We're looking for people for like a minimum of five stores, ten stores, and uh, they can go to t-limited.com and or t-mobilelimited.com, and uh, uh, there's several contracts that are still available within the country. We've broken down our strategy across the country where we know where all of our corporate distribution is going, where all of our partner complementary distribution is going to be uh, going. So by, by going to that website, you get directed to the markets that you have for interest, and then uh, um, there's – there's different criteria, different amounts of opportunity within different markets that we have. But, uh, yeah. Well, it sounds like an aggressive strategy. It sounds like a good one, and, and they've seen a lot of success. So congratulations to you, Alan, and to T-Mobile Limited. This is Laura Ferris coming to you from the Wireless Dealer Expo.